Hey guys, in this video, we will be solving one problem based on single phase fully controlled rectifier of DC separately excited motor. Okay, so here in the question, they are mainly asking about the firing angle. So let's, let us discuss how to proceed and how to solve this problem. Now, a 220 volt 875 RPM 150 ampere separately excited DC motor is given. So, what all things are given? Let me just write it off. So, 220 volt. So, it is nothing but V. V is given as 220 volt. Next, what else? 875 RPM it is given. So, speed is given. So, I can consider it as N1 that is 875 RPM. Next, 150 ampere which will be nothing but the armature current which is given by 150 ampere IA. And has a armature resistance that is nothing but RA is 0 0.06 ohm right 0 0.06 ohm it is fed from a single phase fully controlled rectifier with an ac source voltage of 220 volt and 50 hertz so frequency is also given and ac source voltage is also given that is 220 volt okay now assuming continuous conduction calculate first part firing angle for a rated motor torque and 750 rpm now they have given the speed right 750 rpm so let us proceed with the first uh, part of the question firing angle firing angle basically means you have to find out what always remember this is single phase fully control rectifier firing angle means you have to find out alpha how will you find out alpha so it is the simple formula 2 vm by pi cos alpha is equal to va this is the formula you need to remember very important formula okay so this is used for what single phase fully control rectifier for three phase we will be discussing in upcoming videos so this formula remember for finding the firing angle whenever they ask you firing angle for single phase fully control rectifier you have to use this so let us understand in this what all terms are there pi anyways you know right alpha is that this is what you have to find out how to find out va va is nothing but e plus ia ra okay e plus iara how will you find out e e is nothing but we can consider here e2 this we can find out from the relation by e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 where n1 and n2 we know what is n1 n1 is nothing but in the question it is given now n2 is will be nothing but whatever now first part of the question we are solving for 750 rpm so n2 will be 750 correct n1 will be 875 what about e1 e2 we have to calculate right E1 is nothing but V minus IRA. Okay, so this is the entire procedure you have to carefully see. Now, here VM. VM it is a uh, voltage is already given 220 volt, right? So, just uh, VM will be equal to whatever the voltage is there into root 2 you do. That's it. So, 220 root 2 will be the VM value. So, all the values you have got now you have to just find out alpha. So, let us uh, draw in a procedure wise. Now, let us calculate VA first okay so for calculating va it is a formula we have e2 plus iara okay if you want you can write e itself now e2 you have to find out for finding e2 we have to go for e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 so which gives what is e2 e2 value we don't know by e1 value is nothing but v minus iara so first you have to find out e1 so e1 is nothing but v minus iara right so v is nothing but 220 is given in question minus ia ia value is nothing but 150 given in the question r a armature resistance is also given 0 0.06 so e1 value will get it as what 191 volt so this thing you have to put it over here so here i can put 191 okay equal to n2 by n1 n2 whatever here they have asked 750 rpm so for 750 how to put n1 anyways it is fixed it is given in the question 875 so from this i can get e2 value how will you get e2 value just shift to this 191 that side so 750 by 875 into 191 correct now it is equal to how much you will get e2 value that is 163.7 volts no e2 value also you got so first i found out e1 value right by using this formula then e2 value by using this formula 
then after that you have to just put it over in this formula to get VA so VA is equal to E2 plus IARA E2 value we know 163.7 plus IA value is armature current that is 150 into RA is 0 0.06 so VA value will get it as 172.7 volts now we got VA so this part is done correct now we have to go for pi anyways we know vm value we have to go for vm we directly know it is 220 into root 2 okay now all the values we can just substitute so 2 vm by root pi cos alpha is equal to va so that is that is equal to what 2 vm value is 220 root 2 pi pi value is anyways pi cos alpha is equal to VA value we got that is 172.7 volts from this can I get cos alpha value right this just take it on right side so you will get cos alpha value as 0 .0, 0 0.0 okay from this can I get alpha value which is nothing but cos inverse of 0 0.872 in the calculator if you put you will get alpha value as 29.3 degree okay so alpha value we got which is nothing but 29.3 this is nothing but the firing angle so it's simple concept okay so when we solve one more second part of the question you will understand clearly now here only the change will be minus 5 500 rpm so what will change now now for the calculation purpose here you know see this part n1 is fixed n2 will change it here so in the previous question it was 750 right now we have to put 500 okay so that change will come so let us do that question also second part of the question they have asked for minus 500 rpm so this will become the n2 value right so we have the formula 2 vm by pi cos alpha is equal to va in which we have to find out va same procedure if you understood first question it is then fine okay so va we have to find for calculating va the formula is nothing but va is equal to e plus ia ra so i'll just specify it as e2 okay now e2 to in order to find out e2 we have to use e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 now here we have to find out E1 first. E1 is nothing but V minus IARA. Now one question arises whether we have to change all the things, whether we have to calculate all the things again. Okay, that is the question here. We have to calculate, no need to calculate E1 again because E1 is anyways it is fixed. Because when I change N2, only this, this E2 value will change, right? E1 value will be fixed because we are calculating V minus IARA. We put 220 minus IA is 150 into RA is nothing but 0 0.06 you will be arriving at 191 volt it's the same thing right same as the previous one if you check again we have got the same answer no changes only this part E2 by E1 equal to N2 by N1 where N2 value has been changed okay so let us calculate that so E2 we have to find out by e1 value is 191 equal to n2 value is 500 that you have to take minus by n1 value is where n1 value is fixed for the question that is 875 so here n2 will get it as minus 500 by 875 into 191 which is equal to how much we'll be getting e1 that is minus 109 volts so e2 has been changed you can observe here also earlier we got e2 value as this much okay now we are getting this much because the n2 value has been changed okay now we can substitute over here the e2 value to get va so va is equal to e2 value is minus minus 109 plus IA value is 150 into R is 0 0.06 that is equal to minus 100 volt so we got VA value also this part is done VM is anyways the same thing 220 root 2 now directly we can substitute in the formula 2 into 2 VM is nothing but 220 root 2 by pi 
cos alpha is equal to VA minus 100 from this can I get cos alpha value yes just shift this to that side so cos alpha is equal to minus 0 0.5 so alpha value will be equal to cos inverse of 0 point minus 0 0.5 which is equal to 120 degree okay so alpha value we got it as 120 which is the firing angle for what minus 500 arc this is what we had to find out okay so this we this we found out firing angle so same procedure for first and second part of the question whenever they ask firing angle now third part of the question is quite different motor speed at alpha is equal to 160 at and rated torque so motor speed they are asking right motor speed for alpha equal to 160 so we have to just concentrate how to find out we have to go reverse way okay so how will you get motor speed by using this formula can we get motor speed so let me just explain you how to get that third part of the question okay where we are given alpha is equal to 160 degree they have given now we need to find out the speed now how will you find out the speed see we have the formula e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 right so in this i said before that n1 will be fixed for all the three parts it is fixed by because it is given in the question 875 rpm only change will be in n2 right so you have to find out n2 only so speed means you have to find out n2 n2 is not given in the question in this part in this part right so n2 we have to find out how will you find out n2 we need to know e2 and e1 right in order to find out n2 so e1 is nothing but v minus ir correct v minus ir will it change will it affect anything because we have given alpha a different value alpha is given as 160 no it will not affect because e1 is all it's already fixed value it is 191 volt only because here if you put values 220 minus 220 volt minus ia value is 150 into ra is 0 0.06 so you will get it as 191 volt only so all the three parts it is fixed e1 is fixed it is 191 volt what about e2 whether it will change or not yes it will change how to find out e2 then see the first thing is that we have the formula 2 vm by pi cos alpha is equal to va right now here they have given cos alpha value 160 sorry alpha value they have given 160 from this can i get va value yes you can get va value vm value already we know it is 2 into 220 root 2 pi pi cos alpha that is cos 160 equal to va from this i can get va value right so if i substitute all these values i can get va as minus 186 volt this is the value we am getting now this va is nothing but equal to what e plus ir or i can write it as e2 right e2 plus ir now from this ia and ra we know that is 150 into so i can just write it separately over here so va is equal to e2 plus ia ra now va value we got minus 186 which is equal to e2 e2 value remain as it is so this is 150 into ra is 0 0.06 so from this can i get e2 value which is nothing but minus 195 volt so this e2 value i can substitute over here then the value of speed will get simple thing so what i have done once again i'll briefly explain so basically you have to use this formula the main formula of firing angle in order to get va they have given alpha we have to get va from va we can get e2 from e2 if you substitute over here we can get n2 simple so we are starting with va then from va e2 from e2 we are getting n2 simple thing okay from how will you get va by using the firing angle that formula 2 vm pi cos alpha equal to va now we will we have to substitute the values e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 now here e2 value is minus 195 e1 value we know 191 equal to n2 value we don't know by n1 value is fixed 170 sorry 875 just shift it over here so n2 value will be equal to minus 195 by 191 into 875 which is equal to minus 893.2 rpm 
so this is the speed we are getting okay so this is the whole thing about what this is the procedure to follow whenever they ask you firing angle or related to that question for single phase fully conduct rectifier of dc separately excited motor i hope you have understood the problem